here. So today's video is about growing uh, cactus in colder climates. Uh, um, so basically a lot of you guys know that I live in southern Ontario, Canada. Uh, my area here is zone 5B, 6A. And we do have some native species, or we used to have some native species. We still do in extreme southwestern Ontario, but uh, the, the species that I'm talking about, uh, Apuntia humifusa, which is now uh, classified as uh, cispitosa, so it's a punch of cispitosa, not humifusa anymore. Um, it's been classified as that uh, species now. But anyways, regardless, this was native to uh, a lot of parts of southern Ontario, and then uh, because of habitat loss, because of uh, housing, roads, and all that, um, it slowly got decimated. So there are smaller pockets, uh, like I said, in extreme southwest Ontario that are native, but. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the batch I have here. I've had it for a few years now. Um, along with that, I have some uh, yucca filamentosa Adam's needle that uh, kind of complement it. Um, so yes, it is quite possible to grow a cactus in your area. Um, so these are basically on a slope. I don't know if you guys can tell. And they don't look the greatest now. They will plump up as time goes on. Um, I'll do a video of it in a few weeks and you'll see the difference, but they've already kind of started plumping up. But um, yeah, so uh, try to keep this in well-draining soil. I use a 60-40 a mix of soil and uh, crushed stone. It's actually starting to rain here. It's about 68 degrees here in southern Ontario right now, uh, about 20 Celsius. Um, yeah, so keep it in well-draining soil, um, slope uh, preferably, and away from... Uh, uh, pets and children, obviously, because uh, as you guys can tell, these spines are uh, pretty fierce. I've got poked a few times. It's not fun. Um, and along with that, I also have uh, different varieties of cactus. Uh, I got a uh, bunch of polycantha right here. So none of this is protected. Obviously, these are native, so they're not going to be protected. But these guys here are uh, definitely not native. The uh, poncha uh, polycantha. Uh, this is the... The Eucanaris uh, Reichenbachi, um, try saying that four times fast. Um, I got the uh, Puncha Oklahoma right there, and a Puncha Aurea Polycantha right there, which is a hybrid mix. Uh, you can't really see it because of the leaves, but yeah, none of these were protected. And then I got the Embricata there, um, the Chola, uh, which is not doing so good. So I may I may have lost that one. But, uh, and also the uh, agave harvadina there. Uh, still a bit of green on there. I think it'll come out. But yeah, none of these are, are protected here. So out of the bunch, the imbricata, the choa, and uh, the agave seem to have suffered the most this past winter. So, uh, but the uh, Oklahoma and the polycantha and the uh, reichenbachi uh, seems to... Uh, seems to have uh, fared pretty well here in 5B, 6A, Southern Ontario. So, like I said, it is quite possible to uh, grow cactus in your area. Um, it's just doing a little research and uh, making sure that uh, you have preferably the, the right climate. But, um, like I said, it is possible to grow cactus in colder climates. And this is always a good, good one to, um, to have in, in colder climates. I think it's good to about four... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, about 4B, 5A. So again, it's the hunch, uh, Puncha cespitosa, so um, formerly known as the Humifusa. But yeah, great cactus to have in colder climates. And uh, you can also probably get away with the Puncha Oklahoma, like I have here in southern Ontario, and the uh, Polycantha right there, and also the, uh, the uh, Reichenbachi right there. So uh, these guys. So yeah, great stuff to have in northern climates and uh, kind of gives it a... Something different you don't see in gardens uh, in northern climates. Something, something that you can talk about with your neighbors and people who uh, don't believe that you can grow stuff like this. So, pretty cool stuff. Anyways, um, like I said, it's starting to rain. Uh, storm clouds, about 68 degrees, 20 Celsius. And uh, looks like we're going to get some spring showers today, but we need it. And uh, with that, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Again, thanks for always watching. And if you got any uh, questions or comments... Uh, please leave them and don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys uh, like any of the stuff that I put up. So with that, cheers. Have a great weekend again. Thanks, guys.